Caroline, hi. Hi, how are you? We went through the process and our national judges selected you as winner. That is extremely overwhelming. Asia, hi. I am calling to tell you that our judges enthusiastically selected your film as the winner for national reporting. Oh my God. <laughs> Brett? Hey. The judges selected your piece as the winner. Are you sure you're calling the right? Uh, Brett Brewer. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm calling the right guy. I'm Lynette Clementson, director of the Livingston Awards. It's my pleasure to share with you our 2020 Livingston Award winners for excellence in local, national, and international reporting. To honor each of our winners, here are three of our esteemed national judges. Hello, I'm John Harris. I'm the founding editor of Politico and also one of the Livingston Award judges. On behalf of all the judges, I wanna say congratulations to you, Carolyn Chen of ProPublica. Let me say I was sitting on this very chair in my living room when I recall being swept away by the power of the story you told in your series, Heartless Hospital, in combination with New Jersey Advanced Media and WNYC. I wrote about a hospital's transplant program which failed to consult families on treatment decisions because it was concerned about its survival rates, a strategy that the director was actually caught on tape acknowledging. <laughs> Your story led to public investigations and it led to reforms that will help future patients. I loved reading in your bio, Caroline, how as a child, you were someone who whenever you saw something that did not make sense or did not seem right, you kept asking family members, why, why, why? Until you got to the right answer. It's clear you still have that instinct. This was I think one of the hardest pieces I've worked on. There was a lot of door knocking I had to do and people weren't home, I'd go back and leave letters at their door. It encourages me to keep reporting stories that I know matter, even if the process is hard. Heartless Hospital is an important story that got told because you never stopped working until you got to the truth. Congratulations. It's an incredible honor and I am uh, tremendously grateful to uh, everyone at the Livingston Awards, and I just hope that I can live up to it and continue to do really good journalism that can expose wrongdoings and really speak up on behalf of people who might not have the platform to do so themselves. And I hope to benefit from this community and, I, and to learn from other people who have gone before me. I'm Ken Oletta. I'm a judge of the National Livingston Awards, and I'm here to grant the award for national reporting to Asia Bundawi's The Feeling of Being Watched. And as I watched, I was initially skeptical because she talked about her feelings, not the facts. The journalistic cop in me was wary. And yet, as I continued to watch what she had done, I realized that feelings, in fact, did matter. The humanity she dared share told her story much more powerfully than a keep your distance reporter could. The Feeling of Being Washed is a personal investigative documentary film that looks into decades of FBI surveillance in the Muslim American neighborhood where I grew up outside of Chicago. Personally, it was a real challenge to make a personal film and at the same time make a journalistically robust investigative film that can compel transparency from government institution. I want to find out everywhere that our name is on a list. What she did is what a good reporter should do. She filed freedom of information requests. She asked tough questions of government officials who lied to her. That damn car is always just parked right there. It didn't take long for us to realize that our production itself was under surveillance. The only thing that really made us feel safe in those moments was to document it, you know, to keep our cameras rolling. That became a part of the story. I was really surprised and excited to get the call that we had won the Livingston Award. I feel very moved to have this affirmation and it really encourages me to just keep going doing this kind of work that I've been doing. I'm proud to recognize Asia Bundawi as the winner of the 2020 Livingston Journalism Award for National Reporting. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Christiane Amanpour in London, and I'm delighted to introduce Brett Murphy, and he's the winner of the Livingston International Award for his piece in USA Today, Show of Force. 
it's an after action report that was vitally necessary because he goes back and talks about Azizabad, which was one of the worst civilian mass casualty events of the Afghan war. This one was kept secret and covered up for so many years. Doing a story like that where the stakes are as high as they were in this case, it felt like I was able to do some really important work. Also so impressive was this was your first international assignment. And I did read that you grew up in a suburb in Worcester and you describe yourself as a bit of a troublemaker. Personally, I think that's perfect for this job. To be a good journalist and to be one who's not afraid of creating waves, you have to be a troublemaker because as the saying goes, our job is to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. These stories often don't get told and we knew uh, we were taking a gamble. It felt like we were really unearthing something that had been kept secret all this time. I know a long line of amazing reporters who have won this before. Um, it's known throughout the journalism community as you know, one of these gold standards of recognition for work that people in my age bracket have done. Brett Murphy, well done for this very well-deserved award.